Inside Style Athletic Fieldhouse, Chad Welker with head coach Jared Embick and coach big win this past weekend against Canisius, 10-0. Just briefly uh, recap that game for us after you, you saw the film. Yeah, you know, uh, I think we were a little nervous at the start. You know, we hadn't played well the weekend before, so I think uh, the first 20 minutes, you know, was, you know, hit or miss from ourselves quality-wise, but I think the effort was there. Um, you saw us working harder, and I think you can sense the turn. And um, I think when we put Morgan and Izana in, a couple seniors, that uh, they really boosted the team. And the big thing for me is once you saw us get the first goal, I think you saw a really difference in body language, energy, confidence. And then um, for Canisius, it was just kind of a snowball, the fact that uh, we got rolling and we just wouldn't stop. Um, so it was, we were really pleased as a coaching staff. Marcel Zajac got into the game for the first time this year. Just talk about his play. He had a goal and a couple assists. Just talk about him. Yeah, he's one of the guys that we, we felt could be a key player for us. And uh, when he's been missing, um, it's been a big hole. He brings maturity, brings confidence, along with his skill set and uh, talent. So to see him get in and be productive early, you know, is a huge boost for the team. And now it's just about getting him minutes and – getting his fitness, getting his sharpness up. But as everyone can see, he's a very talented player. When you have two guys get hat tricks on over the course of the weekend, how does that help with confidence, finally seeing that ball get in the back of the net? You know, anytime you can score one goal, let alone three, it, it's a tremendous help to your uh, own psyche. And I think for Izana, who's, you know, not been – been in the best form at the beginning of the year it's going to really help him and and hopefully he can build on it Dave it's been a continuation of what we've seen this year that he's a very good player very difficult to play against uh, so for us I think the most important thing wasn't the three goals they both had two assists um, that those guys are still sharing the ball bringing other people into the game helping other people score that's a sign that the team's starting to come together now, Coach, we had West face Grand Canyon this uh, on Thursday. Just briefly talk to you, talk to us about what you know about the Lobes and uh, what you're hoping to get out of that matchup. Well, they haven't lost at home, so this is going to be difficult, and we know it's going to be very warm. I think in uh, mid mid to low 90s, probably by kickoff time, and uh, they get good crowds. I think they've had crowds of uh, you know anywhere from three and a half thousand to to almost seven thousand. So. We anticipate a very tough atmosphere to play in, a very warm, um, and this is really going to challenge us mentally and, and collectively. We're going to have to be tough uh, to get through it. We're going to have to really fight and battle um, to get our game going. But like I always believe, if we can if we can get our game going, we can find it and, and have a consistent run of Akron soccer during a game. Then then we're we're going to win. Minus the elements of the the being out in the desert, pretty much. Talk about like the skill set that you're looking for us to kind of excel at this upcoming weekend? Yeah, we need to, uh, obviously, for us, I think we got to move the ball forward quicker. So if we can get the ball forward quicker into David Agbo, into our, our forwards, then we can uh, run off that, then we can keep them pinned in their half. So I think our, our build-up play is going to be crucial. Um, our ability in transition with this team has really been a key. The games we have worked hard in, in transition moments have been the games we've won and the games we've been poor been the games we've lost. So I think if we can focus on transition, dominating that and getting the ball forward to uh, our front half quickly and locking them in, then we're going to have a good chance of, of winning. Coach, we appreciate your time as always and look forward to talking to you after that matchup. And fans, don't forget, visit GoZips.com for more information on how you can watch this matchup on Thursday against Grand Canyon. For Chad Welker and the Zips Digital Network, Go Zips.